Hi Gemini, it's Abby. Welcome to your reading. Uh, this is a no specific timing reading. If you're drawn to it, great. If it rings for you, awesome. If it's not your reading, hey, I'm sorry. There's other readings on here. Um, and there's also lots of other channels you can go to to check out, okay? So if it's not your reading, it's not your reading. Um, but I'm hoping and intending as I'm shuffling that the cards that come out are going to bring the best advice possible um, to the Geminis or Gemini placements, the people who are most likely to find this video on YouTube, okay? I hope you all are well. My name's Abby. This is Rogue Goddess Tarot, where I read for all of the signs. If you are a Pisces or Pisces placement, I have an all Pisces channel that's linked in the description you can check out. And it doesn't really matter <laughs> what um, Gemini placement you are. Everybody's welcome, cross watchers welcome, I don't care. Whatever brought you here, I'm happy that you're spending some time with me on my little corner of the internet. So what I'm seeing here, Gemini, we have, I'm gonna give you the numbers in case you're into the numerology. We have 22, 14, 11, and 12, all right? Uh, you have a couple repeaters here, 22 and 11, which are interesting because they're multiples of each other, right? Uh, the themes we have are transmuting pain, experiencing life as it comes, meditation and stillness, and then protecting the future. I'm going to pull some more oracles to get a little more information and context for those. Okay. Okay, so Gemini. This feels, ugh, cards are so weird, man. Okay, so this says here, Fool's Embrace, Transmuting Pain. Your oracle card on the other side says, a triggering statement of I am alone and being enlightened into realizing that you are the one, I am one with all that is. Okay, it says, Dear child, you are safe and loved as you continue on your journey of self exploration. It's also this card is called the Fool's Embrace. So, this feels like there is fool energy that is very important for a lot of you, Geminis. Okay, so fool energy, it could be Aries energy, it's um, a fresh start, it's having the willingness to look stupid, you know, being like, I'm gonna try something new, even if it makes me look a little foolish or people don't get it. I don't really care, I can't help it. Like, I'm, you know, I, I, I just need to do something different here. And it feels like for some of you, specifically the ones that are drawn to this reading, where this starts for you is in an energy of turning your pain into something else. So, this could be through things like art, your work, uh, a new career. Uh, this could be through things like travel, blogging, um, creating a YouTube channel even. There's something here that you are starting and you're turning it into something new, okay? Turning it into something new. It starts as for some reason, I'm wanting to say a paper cut, a canker sore, um, something that sort of worries you, that you feel like you keep picking at. Um, it's annoying. It doesn't really want to go away, okay? And there's a, a, an interpersonal sense of being alone and not really feeling like others are going to get you or understand, but that that energy is being changed. Okay, um, the essential oil that's being talked about here, these might be relevant for some of you or you might identify with them or like them. We have frankincense, uh, juniper berry, jasmine, and vetiver. Okay. I'm also wanting to use these for some reason. This is the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. I'm kind of putting different placements as I did on my last one. I like it, okay. So, the way that this energy is moving, we have um, here sort of Saturn and Capricorn energy, which is kind of, honestly, sort of, I'm wanting to say Taskmaster energy for some reason. Um, this really feels like there could be something for you, especially 
uh, in things like work, business, um, your practicality, your day-to-day -day life, maybe your career ambitions, the things that you're trying to do here, something um, could have felt like it was difficult for you to get ahead in. I feel like also what this is trying to say, this combination of cards, is that if you take something that kind of hurts you, Gemini, it's something that was kind of a sting, I don't know, it could be maybe interpersonal relationships, breakups, disappointments in your career, whatever that happens to be, right? We all have our hurts and our, our little wounds that we need to lick every now and again. Um, whatever this is, if you are able to work on it and focus on it and turn it into something through a craft of some kind, it feels like this brings about a giant change for you and is something possibly for some of you that you could even make money off of with this riches energy and with this eight of pentacles energy. You're then moving through this energy of the drifter, which says that it's experiencing life as it comes, okay? So rather than feeling like you are, you know, doing one thing in one place, right? Um, you are sort of getting into a little bit more of a that mutable air energy gemini you're sort of you're just taking it as it comes you're taking it going where the wind sort of hits your sails and you're letting that happen uh, we have in your energy here with the essential oils oracle it says there's it's a time of projection okay that says my mind does not rest is a trigger statement and as a true statement says, I listen to my higher self. It says to look at each story that repeats itself in your mind as a stranger and then ask yourself, is this true? Um, we have bridging this energy egotism, um, which Mars in Leo energy here. And then we also have eight of cups energy with some Piscean energy down here. So that's that sort of energy of turning your back on the things that used to work for you, people, places, and things that used to bring you some satisfaction. And you're questioning those things now, right? Um, you could be, as you start to win at whatever this venture is here, this thing that you're transmuting from pain into something in the 3D um, through either art or right career, all those things that we mentioned, Instead of feeling, uh, it feels like things start to go well, you start to gather some confidence. For some of you that could ex go into egotism, right? Now there can be healthy ego and not great ego, right? Um, but I feel like this is getting the confidence to leave behind the stuff that you used to tell yourself was what you had to do. You could very well go from a place of feeling like this drifting energy is a negative and you're transmuting that, you're changing that into saying that you're just listening to yourself, okay? So if, if there are, you're experiencing a lot of changes or you are questioning or interrogating your pre-held beliefs, right? Looking at each story that repeats itself in your mind as a stranger would and ask yourself, is this true, right? So if you're like, well, the only thing I've ever liked to do is this, is a, uh, I don't know, um, farming, <laughs> I don't know. And you're going like, well, no, that's not, is that is that true? Is that the only thing I've ever liked to do? Did I ever have any other passions? Was there any ever anything else that intrigued me? Yes, there was. Um, actually, I really thought, I don't know, macrame, it can be anything. Um, was really interesting and I used to get a lot of attention for it, but I went back to this because it's what I knew and was what I was good at and it seemed really practical and so that's what I did and so instead it's like you're taking detours and instead of saying like letting yourself believe it as being scrambled or as being too flighty or you're you're not focused enough um, You're just going like you know what I'm taking it as it comes um, and I am just listening to myself if it feels good, I'm going towards it. If it makes me curious, you know, I, I want a piece of it. If it's something that intrigues me, I feel like I want to at least have a bit of an experience with it before I count it out of my life entirely, whatever that happens to be. Then we have this adventure energy with this Knight of Wands. There could be possibly a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, that's activated in your charge, or it could be someone that is 
important to you in your journey here. The sense of adventure, flirtation, starting things that are new, it's sort of a lusty, fun energy. Um, interestingly here, we have some Cancer energy bridging you into the next step, which is deep quiet, okay? Uh, meditation and stillness. This is so in interesting. So <laughs> this deep quiet, meditation and stillness, where it feels like rather than feeling sort of scattered, um, you're coming to a place of stillness because it feels like you're training yourself to listen to those inner voices really well. This one here says passion. Your passions are, are becoming the focus. Trigger statement says I'm scared. And the true statement says, when I'm vulnerable, I'm at my strongest. This feels like it makes sense here now, because we have this sort of Saturn and um, Cancer energy here. It says, reconnect with your feminine energy and pursue something that ignites your fire. Open the gates of your fortress and explore. So whatever it is for you, that you are going to be working on here. There's first this sense of adventure of, I mean, Knight of Wands can sometimes be talked about as this in and out energy that could be very well linked to this sort of drifter energy here, right? And it's becoming a little different. You're getting a little quiet. We're getting into a ton of wands, right? Being more charitable with yourself and with others, allowing yourself to come to a stillness, okay? And connecting with whatever it is that kind of frightens you. And for a lot of you Geminis, I feel like this has to do with a vulnerability. For some of you, this has to do with a pattern that is coming into a completion and that that's part, that part is really important. With this 10 of wands, I'm feeling like this is something you've been carrying for a long time. This is something that you have been trying to let go of. That there is a, a part of you that as much as you're scared to let it go, you know that it will only benefit you and open up a new chapter if you are successful in working on that, right? If you work on it and you let it go for real, whatever it is that was holding you back, whatever you're scared of exploring in yourself, for some of you, I feel like you could be doing some charity work that could also connect you with people that causes you to have some vulnerabilities and then to look inward and to really kind of connect with a part of yourself that you may have been ignoring for a period of time. So charitable work to me, um, that can be like donating your time to, it can be an organization, right? You could go out and do volunteering, sure. Um, but I feel like that can also very easily be things like um, just helping someone in your neighborhood, um, teaching someone something, um, you know, it's, it's a, a giving energy, a really nice giving energy here. What's bridging you here is then practicality. So we're coming from riches, egotism, charity, to practicality. So now we have this sort of moon, your emotions and Capricorn energy. This is letting me know that your emotions are becoming much more stable as you are going forward. This feeling of drifting, of um, scatteredness <laughs> is, is kind of starting to leave and you're starting to get a, a, a fuller sense of what is what it is you're doing, why you're doing it, and it, it just feels like a good step forward. And there's something very faded about this with the, the Wheel of Fortune showing up. Also that the tens are sitting right on top of each other. You've got these tens on tens, right? There is a, a sense of something really turning around for you at this point. Because this is also your first major arcana here. 
It's the only major arcana that's shown up in your story. All of the rest of this has to do with sort of like your day-to-day -day life and things that you're experiencing, maybe the people um, or versions of yourself. But then there's like this big theme, um, something that you are turning into something very practical really turns the wheel in your favor. It really turns things around. Where this ends up and where it's going for you, Gemini, is we have Dragon's Horde protecting the future, number 12. Okay, and then we have Vetiver saying reconnect is the energy of this card. The trigger statement says I need to escape the true statement says that you are present. It says the root of the issue for you will make itself known. Be open to the information that you receive from your body, mind, and environment. And then we have inspiration, um, Mercury and Pisces energy here. So this feels like whatever it is that you are discovering or expressing through some kind of meaningful work for yourself, Gemini, leads you into a place of inspiration you have six of wands energy which is big time winner energy right this is really really gorgeous this is um getting public recognition it's um coming through the battles coming through opposition coming through the training period being recognized for your achievements and this feels very much like something that you are wanting to protect you're feeling much more present in the future and you're seeing a future for yourself that is much more inspiring. You've learned through this process of allowing yourself to drift and go with the flow, turning your back on the stuff that you used to tell yourself was a big deal and that you cared about, um, that you, you know, th there's maybe a, no a new direction that you want to take that is actually going to sort of change the direction of things going to change your ideas and then you're going to be becoming very inspired during this period of time and it feels like a lot of the recognition that you were seeking uh, starts to kind of grow okay it's a very lucky energy having these two side by side here these are both Jupiter influence they both have Jupiter on them and it just feels like you just you have so much going for you all of the sudden this is all, it, it feels very much like you have this like Saturn energy where it's like there's stuff that just needs to be taken care of. You have to do it. Things are practical. Things are attention to detail. Things are in your emotional sense. You're having to take responsibility for your feelings and you know, why you thought the way you did, why you felt the way you did, you know, and try things that are new and swim with it until eventually you're putting some stuff to rest and it's changing things around for you sirens <laughs> if you guys are into sirens is confirmation this is really beautiful gemini so whichever gemini's this is for you're creating something that you can actually bring into the future and that will bring you recognition and inspiration for a time to come it's really, really beautiful. I hope that this was helpful to you in some way, that it helps you to reflect on a situation or maybe where you are right now, um, where you feel like you want to go. You have a little feeling of how are things going to play out if I take a certain role? What if I use this pain to make art? What if I, you know, what if I actually do this? I, I hope it's helpful. Remember, it's a general reading. Take care of yourself and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love. Bye now.